Hello and welcome to the next R2D2 video where we're going to be looking at issues 62 and 62. No, 62 and 63 this time. Not just looking at the same issue twice, that would be stupid. Uh, uh, these two issues are all about the dome, the dome, nothing else. Um, so yeah, we get started by looking at the actual framework of the dome, which we have not looked at in issues, months. And I forgot how cool this is. Um, it's you know quite weighty, it goes together really well. And what we're going to be adding to it are these two pieces here. So we have the projector mount, which is here, which is plastic. And then we have the camera mount, which is metal, which is this piece here, DF68. And I'm guessing this is DF41, oh, so I don't really understand how um, those numbers work. Also, you'll be needing the screws that came in last issue, issue 60. So not too bad. You know, you're getting better, Diagostini, at providing screws for the parts that we need. Still not great because it didn't come with the issue this time. But anyway, at least we've got them. So I'm going to do them in reverse order to the instructions because I think it might be easier for me. I'm going to attach this part first and then this part because this part is more complicated because we are going to be using nuts. So um, we haven't used nuts for ages since we completed the framework of the dome. So what you need to do is just put one nut in there like that, and then one nut in there like that. Now make sure you get a screw ready on your screwdriver because um, you're gonna be needing everything to hand. Flip this around, well no, before you flip it around, uh, identify the front. This is the front because you've got the two um, circle pieces there and you've got the slits there that will go, uh, R2-D2's eye will go in. Flip it around and you will see that, uh, let me get this right. Uh, so that's the eye, so yes, here, I believe. Here, these two holes here, let me zoom in, is where we're going to be installing this piece. So what we need to do is somehow angle this piece. Is this right? Are we angling it down? I'm just looking at the instructions because I don't want to make, I don't want to get it wrong for you guys. I think we put that piece over there like that. Yes, we do. Because you see that these parts go down and then the projector will install onto it. So um, it's a bit tricky to get the right um, to get your fingers ready for this because you need to hold those nuts in place. So just pop that around there. Oh, no, see, we lost one already. Oh, we lost both already. That's a pain. Okay, let's do one at a time. Let's do one at a time. So put that in there like that. Flip it around. Uh, locate where I just was, which was here. And then put that in there like that yeah good and hopefully that hole will appear there it is you can see it's just appeared there and then you get the screw which you've already prepared just pop it in hopefully it will take please no why not push that in right It is a little fiddly, but we will get it done. That's not wanting to go in at all. Why is that? Just going to look at it just off camera, just a second, just so I can make sure that the hole is showing there in the mount. And it is lined up to the silver part, which it now is. There we go. I think that's in there. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Well, the nut's flown off, but we do have the screw in there. Do, 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 do. Damn it. This is going to be fun. Let's do this one, and then I'll focus on the other one. So that... Ah! Oh, okay, I really tried to do this on camera, but it's not looking like it's going to work, so I'll be right back. And here we have it all installed. It was a little fiddly. I actually did some defying gravity um, screwing in. I put the but, uh, bolt, sorry, the nuts in, and I screwed it from the bottom that way, and it seemed to work. So maybe that's a way that you can get to work too. But that is what it looks like when it's all done, just to show you the inside. 
there and I guess the projector will attach to these two prongs here to shine through that hole there which will be pretty cool. The next thing we are going to be looking at is the camera mount and this one is going to be easier I hope because there's no um, nuts involved they're just straight screws so what you need to do is get where you did the projector mount and there's just two holes just in there let's just zoom in just there they're on their own and you need to take this piece and flip it around that way so that it's like that and then you screw it in there like that so um, I'm just going to go ahead and whoops do that now. <laughs> There we go, go in, they go in even very, very nicely there. And that is what it looks like um, through uh, now. So you see the camera will be mounted against here somehow. There's not much room. I suppose this part sticks out and then a very tiny camera will come for the eye of R2D2 there. And we've got the projection through this one here. Actually, if you look at it at this angle, you see that those two, this one here, and I can't reach, but this one here, they look like they shine through each hole. So maybe, oh no, because if I do it here, they both shine through that one. Yeah, I thought maybe something would happen with this one, but it won't. The projector's going to be this one, of course, just like in the film, and the camera's going to be there. And there's the framework all done. Now, for those of you who are wondering why I didn't start off this video with cutting to me... Um, having put the panels on the dome. And the reason that I do do it off camera is because I don't want this face to happen if I do scratch it or anything like that. It's because I am gonna put the panels onto the dome on camera this time, because these panels are slightly different and kind of cool. And they all are, um, I want to talk about each one of them in a bit more detail than I usually do, because you know, they are just normally just blue with a few, a few slots ready for the electronics and the lights and stuff like that. But these panels, they are different. Now, uh, we also we get the top panel, which we'll come at to last. We also get uh, the top uh, Ridgeway panels, which I'll come on to second to last. But the first panels I want to talk about are these two panels here. Well, not really this one, but it's this one, because we got this panel back in issue one. And I really love how I really love this this stage of part works where you get the show off parts and install them onto the model with the Falcon you know we had that piece of plating and the cockpit and a bit that we didn't go we didn't actually put into the model until later on with the DeLorean it's the back end and it's the front um, one of the front wings over the, the left wheel I believe that we won't put into later and I really like it when it, it get, comes around and we are actually putting parts in that were created to show off the quality of the model and what the mold, uh, the model will look like and the, the blue that's going to be used on R2-D2 and we're actually going to install it now which is pretty sweet along with this panel here and of course they go just there like that. Now um, I have gone ahead and I stuck down all the sticky tape for all the panels so you can see I've got some ready and waiting there because I feel like I haven't really shared enough the pain it is to take these parts off. So on this penultimate sticky tape um, video because we've only got one more panel to do after this video I'm going to share the pain with you guys in excruciating detail. Okay, so that part goes there like that. So then we get this small part. And we just pop it down there like that. I believe it's that way actually. Let me just double check. It is, yes, because you see this part here has a very slight little cutout part that fits around there. So it also shows you how that this part uh, how to attach this part there and you just push it down onto the sticky tape with some force that's why I have put down this protective white sheet so that it doesn't scratch the dome oh please please not let me cause this face um, double Toby today how cool is that right and then those parts are hopefully on although they're not wanting to stick see this is why I haven't been showing you in all the weeks previously because some of them just don't want to stick straight away but that's what it looks like when it's all in, looking very nice. Now some of the panels are loose, 
Um, I think I used the shop bought tape rather than the Diagostini tape for this panel. But like I said a few issues ago, don't worry, when the framework is on, it will push against these panels. Um, and if it doesn't, there's always other ways of screwing it in, putting tape elsewhere and things like that. That is really not wanting to stick on. So I am going to leave it for now and I'm going to move on to these top panels here. So um, move that out of the way. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you, because, okay, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's bring in the side panels, uh, the top panels here, 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 here. And then this special one here, which has the top kind of receivery bit there. So all these others are the same and you can tell because they've all got the same DP05 on the back there. They are all the same and they will all be attached as well by screws. So again, don't worry so much if the tape doesn't stick because they will be attached like that. But this is the one we need to make sure we get the right place for. So what you need to do is you need to get your dome here and you need to angle it this way. <laughs> I'm going to deal with that piece later. Uh, I'm going to angle it this way. No, okay, let's let's flip it around and do it this way. So you want this longer piece here on this top kind of keyhole that way. And then this dome part is going to be attached into that one there. Okay, that's where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all the tape off this double-sided sticky tape. Bear in mind that these are the right length for these little sticky parts. And these ones are actually circle, uh, circled to fit around the uh, the circular bit. My words are escaping me. I'm gonna put my teeth back in and uh, take this backing of the tape off and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so that um, we have all the backing taken off the tape now and I have put that one in there because I already showed you how it would go on. And then it's just a case of getting the other panels and just filling them in. Now, um, let's just go from this side, that one pop in there. And this one pops in there like that. So well, they're not wanting to come through the holes. See, this sticky tape is so random because this, this, these ones are so sticky. But that one on for the first part plate work just wasn't. Sorry, I know that camera angles are just shot to pieces. Because I'm doing it this way, but that's okay. So the next one, let's just pop that in there like that. And the next one, just pops on there like that. And then the final one this time pops on there like that. And we have the top of the dome, all but one plated up. Now, um, you may have worked out already that this one is going to be special because this is going to have the hinge for the lightsaber uh, propel thing. So this one's going to be hinged, so it's going to be slightly different. And we'll look at that in the next video. I'm just going to push these. Oh, dear. Push these out, apparently. They are very loose, these panels. But like I say, they are going to be screwed down into the top, I think, anyway. As you can see from these holes. Oh my word, come on. Right, this is why I didn't show you any of this on camera. And you can see that this tape has just fallen apart. So it's gonna I'm just off camera just reattaching it to the, the panel there. And just sticking it down. <laughs> like that. Oh, such fun. I am slightly rushing it. And I think that's why I'm making such a big boo-boo out of it. But there is one way that we can res resolve this. I'm going to take this off camera. Be right back. Okay, they are all on now. They're like that. But we haven't quite finished yet. Oh, by the way, we do get these parts in 
this uh, issue 63 as well. We don't use these yet because I'm pretty sure these are going to be used to tighten these panels down when we get them all. So uh, just keep them safe till next time. The final parts we're going to be looking at is this top plate here, which has got this gorgeous blue color and this part here, which is just a little silver accent for it. And on the bottom, you can tell that it's all metal parted. Um, it's a metal part that's painted blue and it looks gorgeous. Now what you need to do is something that I don't think we've used on this build is get some super glue and attach just drops of super glue onto these two little parts here to attach it. I mean, usually it's screwed in, so this is different. Um, I'm not sure why it's different. Maybe they couldn't find a way to get it to screw in. But then you just um, obviously push it, push it through these two holes or posh it, you know, whatever you want to do. And that will go on there like that. And it'll stick down. And then bring this back and that just pops in there like that, hopefully through all the holes of the panels. <laughs> uh... But yes, it looks something like that. Oh, that panel just oh, they're all falling apart. It looks something like that. I'm going to put it all together off camera, which I possibly should have done, but hey ho. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Be right back. And here we have it all done. There were all the top panels. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm going to leave it. There were all the top panels done. And this. <laughs> and that panel is all installed as well. Now, the problem I had with this panel is um, I put the tape just millimeters too high and the ridge of this panel is much smaller, you can see, much smaller than the ridges on these newer ones. There's a tiny little surface area that I had to stick the thing down and it was too high. So I just put some shop bought uh, double sided sticky tape closer and then it stuck just fine. So that is one way that the design has changed since uh, since issue one. They made the um, surface area to attach the sticky tape much bigger. So that is pretty cool to see from a building and, in, and improving the model uh, point of view. And, the, you know, the dome looks great and, you know, touch wood, I still haven't um, scratched it. It looks good and these panels, although, you know, gravity's taken a hold of some of them and they're not working, they do look great on the top. Oh, I haven't put the top bit in. It'll go in there like that, which looks fantastic. And then this one, oh, that one's falling apart as well. I'll patch it up before the next video because the next video does have the final top panel to install, one with a hinge and lots of other goodies as well. So I hope you would join me for that. I hope that this hasn't been as painful to watch as it has been to build, although it probably has been. Um, I like to make painful telly, I think, subconsciously, because I do it quite often. I say telly, we're on YouTube. I'm going to have a nice lie down because I found that quite stressful and I'll see you guys next time. So until then, take care. Bye bye. I just want to thank my patrons John Medney, Jay Fauschenbauer, Tom Butcher, Jerry Wilson, Omar Khan, Gary Lewis, Simon Edwards, John Dunseith, Glenn Philo, Andrew Woods, Fabio Gugel, Simon Dunn, Brick Bardo, Thomas Parker, David Cunningham, Mark Frampton, Louis Pays, Terry Schwanditz, Donovan as Married Jaja, James Brown Jr., The Mitsotonic University Podcast, Dave Westbury, Michael Chambers, Marcus Simon, Vince Steele, Savigny and Varrett, and Flash. Without you guys, this video would not have been possible and this channel would be dead, so thank you very much.